What is going on, gang? We are back with another tier list. And this time around, we got a snack cake tier list. And this is just generally Hostess or Little Debbie snacks. And we got all the good stuff like Twinkies and Ho-Hos on this amazing list. We got Twinks on this list. Oh, man, why didn't I do this great list? I said Twinkies, Joe, not whatever you said. Sounds like a drag. Joe, I think you're the only one who thinks that because I, for one, think that this list is amazing and that we have the best man in charge for this. All right, Barack, that's enough glazing because you were going too hard for that. Like, I could feel you audibly gagging on my nutsack with how far you were throating my name. Okay, wow. And that is absolutely the last time I even bother complimenting you. Don't worry, Donald. I'll never stop complimenting how great you are. Thanks for not being a bad friend, Joe. But I just... Oh, never mind. Let's just go ahead and get this list started. Now, that's what I like to hear, Barack. Anyways, up first, we got probably the most American snack in the world, and that is the tried and true Twinkie. These things get an auto S tier, and I cannot sing my praises enough about this amazing snack. I love me anything Twinkie related, and I can down these things like crazy. Fun fact about me, I can throw two whole Twinkies and swallow one whole if I really tried. That's a pretty cool fun fact, Joe. No, it wasn't. It was just crude and gross, and honestly, is too much information for me and the audience, Joe. Don't listen to him, Joe, because I always love knowing more about you, because unlike Barack, I'm a true friend. Anyways. After that banger of a first choice, we then have glazed honey buns, and maybe it's because I'm more of a fan of the frosted honey buns, but I don't think this is an S tier. I still love it, don't get me wrong, but I think this slots appropriately into A tier. Then after we got the little Debbie cream-filled chocolate chip cakes, and I think this is our first C tier. I don't hate these at all, but these cakes aren't that amazing. Like, they have a stamina bar on them, because I can only eat so many before I just feel absolutely repulsed. And I never feel that way about a Twinkie or even the glazed honey bun. Maybe because you're so goddamn unhealthy that your body doesn't even register a Twinkie as a foreign substance full of malign and bad nutrients that will ultimately harm your body because you just eat them so goddamn much. Nah, that can't be it. It's probably just because the other two absolutely bang. Then coming up, we got the zingers, and you would think I hate these Twinkie knockoffs, but these actually get some respect from the Don because they don't entirely copy them. They look the same, but the top has a layer of a random cream, and it tastes pretty fucking delicious. The OG Zinger flavor gets a B tier, but the Raspberry Zingers get an A tier for me because the fruitiness of the Zinger just gets me going and has me creaming from the deliciousness. Now that sounds like something I like. Give me something fruity and creamy and you'll have me going crazy. But I'm eyeing down those cream pies up next and... Ooh, e, oh my God. I'm gonna need cream pies going into S tier because I love them. All right, relax, Joe, because they're not even up next and they're not even that good. Let me rate what's next first before I get to that ranking. And after that, we got the Little Debbie chocolate cupcakes. And I will be honest here and admit that I prefer the Hostess cupcakes through and through, but we'll still happily eat these if they are available. That being said, I think a solid A tier is in order for this snack. Okay, now please talk about the cream pies because I know you love these bad boys, Donald. You always tell me about how you love cream pies so much and you love giving them so much. I didn't know you were that generous of a person to be buying and gifting cream pies, but I love learning more about you. All right, Joe, you and I need to talk about the different kinds of cream pies because I am most definitely not buying them. Well, uh, I guess I do buy both types of cream pies, but that's not the question here because I'm talking about the oatmeal cream pies. And these things aren't all that amazing. I'm sorry I have to break this horrible news to you, Joe, but these actually belong in C tier because they are quite honestly not all that good. Now this is absolutely insane. I love myself cream pies more than anything else, so I can't even see why this would even be a correct rating. Joe, there's no such thing as a correct or incorrect rating, and I'm more than certain that you and Donald are having a miscommunication on the terminology behind the word cream pie god. I hate that you made me even say it. All right, can we stop with the cream pie talk because the snack is extremely mid and I am tired of the gag. It was funny for a while, but now the funny factor has ended and now I'm in rating mode. And goddamn, we have an absolute stinker up next because I have fig bars going into D tier. Eating these things is gross and anyone who actively consumes them should be ejected off a high speeding vehicle. Like the thought of it is just revolting to me. Like just with the words fig bar, it makes me shudder in pure disgust. I hate having to eat it when it's at my house because I know damn well no one else will. So that begs the question, 
Who the fuck is buying more of these fucking fig bars? If I never had to eat a fig bar again, I would not be sad. And that should say a lot about how gross I think these things are. I actually kind of really like fig bars, not going to lie. I didn't know about these until Michelle suggested them many months ago, but at this point, they are my go-to ride nutrition. Fig Newtons and Fig Bars will certainly work as well and have comparable flavor. And when it comes to snack prep, I love having these pre-packed in my lunch and have at least two bars because it just works for me. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real with you, Barack, and let you know that I tuned the hell out of your whole conversation as soon as you said Michelle suggested. That was like an off switch for my brain. But anyways, following that gross D tier, we then have fruit pies, and these things are actually kind of all right. Like, I think they deserve a solid C tier because I won't ever go out of my way for them. But if they are there, I am most definitely having one. These just have so much sugar. Like, I had one the other day, and I could just feel it running through my stomach, and I had almost instant diarrhea. But they did bang for the time that I ate them. All right, Joe, we did not actually need to hear that. But anyways, after we got Cosmic Brownies, and I'm giving these a B tier, which I think is not a bad rating at all. But goddamn, I remember almost choking on these because they were drier than a sandy ball sack that has been roasting in 110 degree weather. But then again, it was my fault for eating these with no milk because when you do get them nice and moist, they do indeed bang. Not as much as our next entry though because I have the chocolate zingers going straight into A tier. I absolutely love these long black zingers. Yeah, something about the long dark zinger that just gets me going. Can we not sexualize the zingers in that way, please? Barack, just because you don't know a good zinger, then that's on you and not us. But yeah, then after we got another D tier, and that of course belongs to Star Crunch, and these things are like little crunchy turds, and I'd rather have everything else on this list. Well, uh, unless it's a fig bar, because in that case, I will take the Star Crunch. Then following that, we got the little Debbie birthday cake snacks, and these are all right, I think. A C tier is a good ranking for them, but oh my God, we got a banger in the honey buns and I have this going straight to A tier. I personally would have placed the honey bun higher, microwave it for a couple of seconds, and it's such a soft and wonderful texture. You know what you're actually spitting there, but Joe, I can't have too many things in S tier, so it had to be placed in A. But anyways, we got normal Hostess cupcakes and Nutty Buddies both going into B tier. I don't hate these and think they're quite all right, but holy shit, we got an S tier. And I think we all knew that I was gonna place this high because who the hell doesn't like ho-hos? I actually really do like them, but I prefer the Boston cream rolls. See, this is why you are not in charge of the list because Boston cream rolls are only an A tier. They're still delicious, but never put them above in the ho-ho level. But yeah, then after we got fancy cakes and these also go into C tier to be quite honest, and after we got snowballs, and these are also a B tier, like the Don doesn't hate these snacks, but man, there are better things, guys. Like, just look at that finishing lineup because we have mostly bangers coming up next. And to start it all off, we got an S tier and the Hostess Cupcakes. I prefer these over the Little Debbie ones, but goddamn, I love me the Hostess ones. Get you two of these with a glass of milk and you'll be in heaven. What's the difference between the Hostess one and the Little Debbie one? I swear they're the same. That's because you're a Neanderthal Joe. There is so many complex flavors, I just can't explain it to you. But anyways, after that, we got Swiss rolls. And much like with the Hostess cupcakes, I prefer the Hostess ho-hos over the little Debbie Swiss rolls, but I'll still give it some respect and place it into A tier. But finally, we've approached the first ever S tier and W for Little Debbie brand, because I feel like I've been mad hating on them this entire list but I am more than happy to report that the zebra cakes absolutely bang. And unlike the other cakes, I actually fucks with the zebra ones. The closest Little Debbie product to getting the same treatment was the honey buns, but we're past that. These zebra cakes are the perfect amount of sponginess and flavor, and the Don absolutely adores these things. Then rounding off this entire list, we got the red velvet cakes, and these are quite all right. I enjoy them more than the other cakes, but I won't throw it the fuck back for these things and will instead place these into B tier, which is not awful Since at all. when was B or C tier considered awful? I quite frankly enjoy a lot of things in those tiers. Barack, you and I both know that the viewers won't feel the same way because to them, they think B tier is like a goddamn disgrace against humankind. And they basically treat C tier as something that should never be bought despite it just being mid. And we all know that you're acting this way and trying to make me look bad because you're trying to cover up for the bad tier list you did last time where you had tons of people angry. Well, you know what? 
I don't care because I demand that I do the next tier list or else I will be furious because I have to redeem myself. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. Yeah, I won't lie, Barack. You're full of empty threats. You getting angry is like the class clown trying to open up about his serious familial issues and how he gets beat every day and barely has any food, but the person he opens up to doesn't care and just laughs right at his face. That sounds dark. Did that happen to you? Yeah, it was super awkward because I genuinely did not give a shit about the kid. Like, I don't care about how much your mom drinks or how your dad hits you. I have my own issues going on, like what model car I wanted that year. You genuinely are a bad person.